Hi, in this brief prelude by Russian composer Alexander Skriabin, the time signature, or beats per measure, alternate between 6-8 and 5-8, or 6 eighth notes per measure and 5 eighth notes per measure. This is a very unusual time signature. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It creates this sort of jumpy feeling, a uh, sort of uneasy, unstable feeling in the listener, which adds to the emotional intensity that Skriabin creates in this little piece. The piece flies by in about one minute, give or take. I'll play the opening few bars to show you at a slow tempo what I mean, how this counting works. The piece starts with an upbeat quarter note, so that's two eighth notes, two beats. So it would be counted five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. two measures of just six eight six beats rather than five so it's one two three four five six one two three four five six but Scriabin has given the performer a difficult challenge here he marked the piece presto which means very fast and a, at a very fast tempo it's literally impossible to play some of those five eight measures without holding the last eighth note longer because of the physical jump that follows on the keyboard to the next notes so the 5-8 measures often wind up effectively sounding like 6-8. So I'll try to show you what happens at a fast tempo. So I don't even know if I can count out loud at such a fast tempo. So I'll just count now to start off. It would be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. But you'll see how it's not possible. So I mean, I'll try like this. So you know that the last beat. <laughs> It, and you play a very fast tempo, especially later on we have jumps like this, a couple of measures like at a slow tempo, it's... So if you get in uh, continuity, very difficult. The next measure uh, has... So the idea of getting to uh, at fast tempo with all the chords going. So, a pianist seems to have two options here. Either play this piece presto, as indicated by, by Scriabin, which is super fast, and uh, inevitably distort the 5-8 measures into something more like 6-8, or take a much slower tempo in order to make sure those 5-8 measures sound like 5-8. Now, I've heard pianists who take one or more of the, those approaches. My approach is sort of a compromise. I actually feel that at a breakneck tempo, the piece sounds too frenetic, too hysterical, and loses some of the lyricism, which is also there in the beautiful harmony changes that, uh, that Scriabin wrote. So I guess I disagree a bit with Scriabin in the tempo marking of how it actually works. I don't think it loses any character by taking it uh, at a fairly fast tempo, but maybe not quite presto. So I don't like to play this piece so slowly either that all those 5-8 measures can be completely accurate. I'm aware that some of those 5-8 measures do sound nearly like 6-8, when I play them. So why did Scriabin write this piece that way? I mean, why did he write all those 5-8 measures alternating with 6-8 and then mark the tempo presto, which actually makes it impossible to, to technically do that, even for the most technically diff gifted pianists? I suspect that Scriabin just wanted to have some of that feeling of those 5-8 measures being a bit off rhythmically, a bit shorter than the 6-8, a bit jumpy, even if they're only slightly shorter than 6-8. So that's what I try to do when I play this piece. I take it at a tempo which I feel is fast enough, though perhaps not quite presto, while keeping those 5-8 measures a bit shorter than the 6-8 measures as much as possible, as much as humanly possible, for this human at least. So uh, here's my performance of it. It goes by quickly, just a minute. And let me know in the comments how you would deal with this issue if you played this piece, or how you do deal with it if you are a pianist who has played this piece.